Hey guys, the Hoboken Art Girl here with you today. I'm going to uh, paint this parrot, and his name his name is uh, Simon. He is from Saint Petersburg, and apparently he enjoys the 1950s music classics like Fats Domino's and um, Elvis and the Beatles. And uh, there was another one that I can't quite think of. But anyway, um, he lives in Pinellas Park. So with that said, I am going to um, show you here. I selected the colors for the parrot already. And so we have here, I'm going to be using the Prismacolor pencils. And it's going to be 994, which is process red. And then, oh, this is um, Parma Violet. It's a short one. Um, this one is 937, which is Tuscan Red. Uh, Peac Peacock Blue, 1027. Aquamarine, 905. Black, 935. Uh, let's see what this is. Cinnamon Red, 9 924. White, 938. Um... Crimson Lake, 925, and this one is, oh boy, it looks like a sage. Um, I can't quite, oh no, it's 50%. Uh, this is a gray. It's 1063, and they're all uh, Prismacolors, just in case you want to paint along. So we are going to start with, I think the background is the last thing I'm going to do. So um, we're going to start with, let's start with his beak and um, for this I'm going to uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put you on time-lapse all right let's try it as is um, and then we'll do the time-lapse if it goes too long so I'm gonna start with the gray and the gray is going to be on part of his nose and I will uh, link this sketch um, below so actually, let me put you on pause for a second. All right, so it is 2.05 right now. So let's see how quickly I could work with this. So I'm going to make his um, his, uh, not his nose, <laughs> his beak. I'm going to start with gray. And you know that uh, pencil work takes a lot longer. So I'm going to just fill in the colors and then we're going to go back. And I'm using Arteza um, watercolor paper, but it's not the very expensive one. So this is a highlight right there. And I'm going to leave it as is. This one is going to be like a, um, a grayish blue. But I have to put the white down first. And then put the blue down on the end here. And then add the gray over the blue. And I should be using a lighter gray. Let's see if I can grab them really quick. I'll use a silvery gray and that one is 949 and it is a uh, prisma colored pencil so I'm gonna do that lightly and then I'm gonna go over it with the white again and just lightly with the blue
and then down here we're going to put the blue and that was 1027 and then I'm going to outline his beak Ten sixty-three. Okay. So now we're going to move on to, let's do the top of his, um, actually let's do his eye. We'll do the eye and just those tiny circles. And um, I have to go around here. And that's going to be white with blue in it. So let's do the white. And then a hint of blue on the top leaving some white exposed. And then I'm going to take this 1037, no, nope, 1063, which is the gray, and just put it over the black, just lightly. And then we could pick up the blue. <laughs> oh, this is white here. The circle around his eye is white. And then we have the outer circle, which is again black. There we go. And then on the outside of that, some of the blue. But like literally put it on top of the, the black. It's just so the blue is uh, showing. Okay, so now I'm going to take 924, which is the lighter red, and that's going to go on the outside. So, right, is this the light? Yeah, this is the lightest red I have. So this is the lightest red. I think I need to make that a little lighter. But we're gonna keep moving. Let me see, I have this one here. This one is the darkest. So I'll use this one here. Um, doing it like this, just testing it. Because the bird has three colors of red. And you can select whichever ones you want, but these are the ones I went with. So. Okay, I'm going to turn this. I guess I'll just put this one down. As you can see, I'm going very light. I think I'm going to see if I find something that's more red-orange because the color is really more red than this. So we can go ahead and put something on top. Okay, so let me 
me see what I have here. This one, this one is Deep Scarlet, and this is a Polychromos a Faber-Castell. So I'm going to try this one. It's kind of tough when they have so much red. On the next go around, we'll go ahead and press a little harder. We're not going to burnish the paper just yet. This one is 924. And now this is the uh, darkest, which is Tuscan Red 937. And I'm going to be using, let me just sharpen this. Gonna actually outline this one's a little brown, but you know what? We're gonna go with it. And right here, we need a little black. And a squiggly line and Turn your pencils as you move down because this way it will, um, you don't have to sharpen it as often. And again, we're not burnishing the paper, you're just doing a light pass over. I'm going to use the 994, which is processed red, and that's going to go in the cheek area here. And then it's going to extend out here.
and it's going to go all the way down here. Okay, I'm going to pick up the Tuscan Red 937 and the bird has I don't know, some dark feathers here. And then the rest of it is, uh, I think it's this one. The Polychromos Scarlet, Scarlet Red. So, Remember not to press on the pencil too hard. You don't want to burnish your paper. Once we've added all of the colors, we can go ahead and add a second layer to the same colors. And then we're going to use some Gansol to dissolve this. to the mouth. Um, this area here is like a silvery gray but white. So I'm going to use gray underneath and then I'm going to put the white on top. And then this is um, black here. This is the inside of the parrot's mouth. And then we have black down here. The bird is uh, screaming, so it has its mouth open. Okay. Then here again, this is like a silvery white. This is going to be the scarlet. side of the parrot's mouth. And then we have like a, I don't know what this is, maybe, I don't know, but it's blue. Whatever this is, it's blue. Maybe that's the parrot's tongue. Hmm. Okay, and then this here is the scarlet red that we've been using. Okay, and 
then here, this is silvery gray. Silvery gray with a hint of blue. Put a touch of black here. And then this is going to be the hmm. I'm going to make this blue. Let's go ahead and put down 1063 first. And I'm going to need a dark blue. Let's make that. Um, instead of this blue that we're using let's go ahead and make it an aqua blue and don't forget to turn your pencil so you don't have to sharpen them as much and then what we'll do is we'll use this for the um the feathers that should have been blue this blue we're going to change it to this aqua this way it all ties together we can even put a little hint of aqua in his eyes oh look i forgot a little spot there this spot here should be the tuscan red all right and this top portion should be the uh, let's see. Oh, this is going to be the um, this blue. This is nine oh five. I like to do my edges so that I don't go over, and then we're just going to. can still see my pencil line underneath those are the part of the feathers and this is going to be a little lighter than this one here because we didn't put the gray underneath so I'm just going to follow these feathers I'm still not pressing on the colored pencil. I'm just giving it a second coating, second pass. 
because when you use the um, either the white pencil or the gamzol it has it should have enough color and if it doesn't then it's going to be um, too light Hold on a second. I have here a uh, Spectum Noir Gamzol and it's blending solution. All I do is use just a little bit. You don't need a lot. And then you can use a, uh, a brush like this or um, let me see here. I don't want to grab one of my good brushes. Should have had that out, but I have this one. These I use for gouache, so I'm gonna use these. And then I have this one, which um, is uh, a Kmart brush, and this is a dagger. Because we're gonna be doing feathers, I figured we could try and use that with the gamzol. We'll see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna use the square one, and I'm going to start. I guess let's start up here because we work our, our way down this way. Our hand isn't in the way there. So I just wet my brush just a little bit. And then you just, if this has enough, um, uh, I want to say crayon, pencil. In England, they call it crayon. Um, you just dissolve it lightly. And then I'm going to go to the gray. I, because the blue is not that dark and it is going to um, mix with this, I'm not going to worry about it. Just use the other side of the, the brush. And once it gets the gray on there, you should be fine. Just take your time with this. See, now I'm going to turn it because I know that it has blue on the bottom there. So I'll use the blue again on the same side. And I'm doing this, you know, as I said before, on inexpensive paper. If you do it on hot pressed paper, good paper, you get better results. And again, I'm just turning my brush. You could also wipe your brush on a tissue. Whatever's uh, black in this area, I'll, I'll take care of that first and then I'm definitely going to uh, wipe my brush. So this way we don't blend the colors. Uh oh, my baby's here. Hold on, baby, hold on. Um, maybe we could use it for the eye because the eye is black. And the outside of the eye is black. Okay, mommy, hold on, baby. Hold on, mommy's, mommy's busy. One second. I know. Okay. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I have a tissue here. And what I'm going to do is um, wipe this one more time, the black. Wet my brush again. And then tackle another color. And if you don't have enough color on there, then when you, when we go back, we can add more color, but you won't need to add the gamzol a second time because it's already in the paper. So because this is blue, I'm going to go ahead and okay, and then go to this blue. Okay. 
Let's dissolve the glue in the eye. I'm gonna wipe my brush again. And then I'm going to use this one since we have to get into a small corner there. So let's start right there with this red. And then we'll go down to this red. And then this red here. Yeah, this looks like it needs more color. And again, it doesn't matter because then now you can just go back and add your additional layer. Okay, then I'm going to do this right here. And if you need more Gamsol, you can put some on there. Just make sure you don't saturate your paper. I need a little more Gamsol. <laughs> Literally, it's a drop that I use. Okay, I'm gonna do this pink before I tackle the dark red. Okay, and now I'm gonna tackle the dark red here. Okay, excuse my sniffles. All right, so that is the only time we're gonna be using the Gamsel, so I'm gonna set that aside. And then now we can go ahead and add whatever colors you think are needed um, in the bird, in the parrot. Um, I'm gonna start with the mouth. And don't press too hard because this is and, and you should let the um gamsol dry um and it doesn't take long to dry so you're just going to intensify that color all right wherever you see it white just little circles
So when you do this technique, it's it's best to use three layers of 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 color, maybe even four, and then you can go in with a Gansol. Another technique is using your um, blending colorless blender to blend all these colors. And now, since you're not going to be using any Gamsol, you can use that or you can use your white pencil. I don't care for that pink that's there. So I'm going to use this um, Parma Violet and see what happens. If you don't experiment, you'll never know how things will turn out. Purple to me just goes with everything. If you wanted to, um, let me get a brush so I could. This way, the crumbs aren't pushed into the paper. Okay, and if you want to go ahead and introduce this purple you can actually just add it to the bottom of these feathers making that the like the um the shadow i use when i use pictures i use um even if they're copyright I use them because I only use them for reference in uh, reference to like proportions and things like that. And then you just use your own colors and use your own ideas. Okay, now I'm going to do the blue. Whoops. Good thing I have rugs. All right, we're going to do the blue here. And see how the color is so much darker with the um, Gamsol? And you don't see too much of the white of the paper. Now this one I think is um, hot press, which is with the um, bumps. But if you use cold press, you won't see the white as much. Okay, so... You could also use your white to um, burnish your color, and it gives it a smoother look. And I know that this bird isn't perfect by any means, but it's practice. And for the black, you could use the white, but for the black, you can use the gray. do we need to do um i'm gonna go ahead and put some silver on here and he needs some make sure that the white is white for the eye okay let me use this white to Burnish this one down. Okay, and the same with this blue. And then we're going to do a, I think a, uh, 
I'll pull it back on Shippy Joe. I think I want to get a tissue. I think I want to use this one to make this kind of silvery. And it's not as grainy. I'm thinking these are his, his tonsils. I don't know. I can't make that out. <clears throat> but whatever this is, it's there. What else can we do? What color can we do the background? Let's see if we do a yellow. Maybe we can do this yellow. This one is uh, sunburst yellow. All right. So I'm going to start doing the background. And then I'm going to take the white and, and uh, do some feathering on the, on the, uh, on the feathers <laughs> to make them look feathery. <laughs> it is a long process, so you have to be patient just like everything else, you know, you learn it. And as you perfect it, it takes time. And again, I'm not pressing too hard. You could layer this up with two colors, three colors, whatever you'd like. And turn your pencil because you see how it gets crooked. That little... I won't go over these uh, colors here that I have on the bottom so that it doesn't smear. I think I'm also going to get a reddish orange to make the background pop a little bit. This is the one we used, and these all look the same. <laughs> Let's see. This is a yellow orange. This is a Spanish orange. And this is a sunburst orange. So I'm going to go with the yellow orange and keep this one. This is orange. So I'm going to do the orange first, which is, let me give you these numbers 918, uh, 1002 is the yellow orange, and the sunburst orange was 917, which we've already used. So I'm going to do this color first. And again, it's a light touch that you're a light pass. There. Let's do round circles so it could blend better. And then we're going to do the Spanish 
um, orange, which is 10, 0, 2. And this is, uh, I believe, one yellow. If you hold the pencil in the back, you put less pressure on it. All right, I'm going to go with Sunburst Yellow, which is 917, one more time. And then we can go ahead and use the Gamsol for the background. And hopefully that's gonna have enough color. flat brush Oops. okay and I'm gonna start at the top and work myself down here. And this is a tack on brush. I should have used a um regular watercolor brush because the tackle one doesn't hold too much water and so that's why I find myself having to dip back into the gamsol. But we don't want streaks so let me let me see if I can find one that I don't. Uh, maybe this one. I don't think this is a tackle one this is bright. Let's try this one. I think this is a little fluffier. This is one of my uh, silver white brushes. And it's half inch. Ooh, ooh. Drank a lot of water. <laughs> Drank a lot of gamsol. Oh boy. It could be the paper too. The last time I did something with pencils, it was on um, archers, but that's too expensive to just, you know, play. So I used my cheap paper to play. It is bright. We should be using my pipette. This is what happens. I 
and I really don't want to touch those. Um, when you do the Ganville, you should be going in one direction. Not do as I say, not as I do, right? I was trying to avoid hitting that ledger there with the different colors. So, up and down strokes. Okay, and there we have our bird in bright colors. You see, this is the brush you need, but you need it with shorter bristles. This came in in our box. away all the white that I see as much as I can a little rouge on the nose and this you can wash with soap and water. Okay. So there is your bird. If you want to add more color, you can add more color. I'm going to use... Um, I have my Posca pens. These are the uh, fine ones. This is 0.7. This is 0.7. And this is just to add some highlights. Now the other highlights, let's see, <clears throat> I could use my Posca pens, but I don't know that I want to do that, um, to maybe add some yellow feathers to the bird. Let me look for uh, something and I'll be right back. See that you could see of course the white and it's just lightly you just want to indicate that there's some sort of fur going on you know working with pencil is really a lot of work I'm barely touching the paper Now that you could see the, let's do it this way. 
See that? And keep turning your pencil. See, now you can see the feathers. Let me start from the bottom. I like to start from the bottom and work my way up. And keep turning your pencil. Do it from the purple one to the white. And let's do it from the blue, go right onto the blue. Okay, I think this will end our session. Let's put some feathers here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. This was a pretty long video, but I hope you enjoyed it and learned a couple of new techniques. All right, guys, take care.